Good morning, this is Andy with Handy Andy, and what we're going to show you today, uh, we're walking through a job over in Gwinnett County in the Lilburn area, uh, and this house probably has the worst rotted door repair uh, that we've ever done in 20 years in business, uh, and, and it's, it kind of stinks because the customer paid somebody else to do this work a few years ago, and you can kind of see what they did, we'll show you in a second here, but um, this is a first floor entry area, it's a really nice house. Uh, but what they did is these side lights and you'll see this in a lot of our videos but you can see this even though this is rotted they never caulked and painted in this area here so from water splashing off this concrete and just water coming down I'm kind of cascading down the side of this brickwork in the heavy rains uh, it's rotted this whole area out and so what some bright Einstein did is they came out here and they scabbed over a piece of just beveled cut down wood and laid it over the top of all this rot and you can see the condition of it Fortunately for us, my brother's a master cabinet maker so and carpenter, so he's going to come in here and angle cut all these repairs. But this is a tough one because the side lights are rotted. They've got termite damage in here. This piece needs to be pulled out. The threshold sweep has to be re-anchored into this concrete because the whole thing is moving right now. We'll repair the, the centers here, inside and outside frame on the left side. Same thing on the right side over here. But... You know, it's part of this repair, they scabbed in some bondo over the top of that, and that's what you're kind of seeing in here. And really what they needed to do was just uh, caulk it and paint it bright the first time. They wouldn't have had all these issues. But you can put your hand all the way through here. So they've got a heck of a mess. And what's happening with a lot of homeowners these days, insurance companies are coming out for annual reviews because they've just had too many losses. And so an insurance uh, representative went through and looked at this house and said, you've got to fix all this rod or we're going to cancel your insurance. Uh, and a lot of times people don't know what to do like this window right here we're showing the repair now it's finished and it's got a primer paint on there and we'll get some paint to match this um, but what ended up happening this is an old kind of casement crank out window you can see the crank inside and this whole bottom edge right here this whole lower part of the sash is all new wood um, that we have beveled cut and cut in here you can see the joints right here and it's not finished he'll come back we'll come back in and caulk this edge caulk over here this was just a primer coat to get some paint on it but everybody else who came out here said to this guy, look, you gotta replace the whole window. We can't fix that. And that's all tenon in there and it's, it's a really difficult repair. So we replaced, this was a, sh a sash repair at the bottom and then we replaced this custom cedar nose right here. So that's all new wood. Uh, and what ends up happening is everybody comes out here, they want that big ticket job. First of all, they don't have the skills to do this. We've got a couple of guys that can do this work. Uh, and so we do it every day all over Metro Atlanta. Um, but what happens is if you replace this window, then it creeps because you've got the same issues on this window right here that you haven't seen the repair work yet. This is as is condition. All this lower frame is rotted out. Now these are fixed pane windows so it's not as difficult. But if they change that casement window, then they're going to wind up going around the house and changing all the windows. And that's where people make their money. So here on this window, we're going to repair, repair, replace this nose. This, this side piece right here is completely rotted out. And again, this is all from caulk and paint. It just wasn't caulked and painted properly. And replace this cap piece underneath there. Um, this material is a little more expensive. This is cedar. Now, this is board and batten siding. If you have this on your house, we encounter so many different customers who contractor comes out and says, oh my God, we need to change all this stuff out for hardy plank. Unfortunately, a lot of contractors are out here trying to sell the big ticket job. And if they scare one person a month into doing it, they got a twenty dollars or $30,000 job out of the deal. And so this is board and batten. So this is a, a one by 12 with a, a cap over the top of the joint and same thing here all the way across. And so what we're gonna do is from the splash, they never painted the bottom edge. So you can see the, the siding down here at the bottom is rotted all the way around. So when you've got people replacing wood on your house, make sure that bottom edge is primed and painted. It takes an extra minute, nobody does it. When you have people come out and paint your house, it's not like you're gonna get on your hands and knees and see if they paint it under there and they and most times they haven't. Most of these houses have been spray painted. Um, this one was actually hand done because I, I've been in this neighborhood long enough that I remember when they did it uh, probably about eight years ago now. But all the splash is rotted all the way across this bottom edge. So what's going to happen is to make it look decent, we're going to angle cut from this corner all the way across under this, this nose piece right here, this red nose piece right here. Angle cut all the way across. And we're going to lay in an angle cut 1 by 12 all the way across, flashed and capped uh, so it'll never rot out again. And we'll actually take that piece and we'll back prime it all the way around. So it, it, if any splashing getting that bottom edge, it's not going to rot the wood anymore. So these, this is an unusual repair for us, but this is called board and batten siding, which is one of the reasons I wanted to show it to you all, is you can see the gap right here behind it. you got to make sure you caulk this and seal it. But this is a separate board, 
and this is just a cap piece and then another board it's really common in new england to have siding like this it's very unusual in atlanta to see board and batten siding but cedar no matter what anybody tells you great product don't change it off your house call us let's look at it and see what you need to do first i doubt very much if you got to repair any uglier than this one this is one of the worst um, door repairs in the history of this company uh, and my brother's pretty mad at me for for selling this job actually and then this is standard stuff this is squirrel damage in the fascias um, he had a gutter that went through here all the way around the corner and they took it down he's got a little bit of rot here in the corner of the soffit we'll fix that as well and then when he has time and money we'll come back and put a gutter piece here and if you look at some of the other videos one of the big uh, issues with gutters there's two things really you want aluminum you really don't need gutter guards or, or caps or gutter stuffers um, gutter stuffers is being sold in home depot right now it's it's unless you don't have a lot of trees around it's really not a good product but when you get into gutters and you get a corner like this don't let your gutter guy just slap a mitered corner there they'll they'll cut it at a 45 slap it together and put two screws in the bottom it's going to leak it's going to rot the siding it's going to rot the trim don't do it pay them extra and put a separate corner piece in there and then have it hung with hidden hanger screws don't use the spikes you know and, and everybody's trying to be cheap these days and i understand it but usually when you're you're going cheap on a house you're just deferring and creating bigger problems down the road um, this is another repair that's going to be a really tough one we're one of the few companies out here that will actually repair a garage door like this you can see the condition of it it's the lower part of that frame is rotted in two places uh, and what's going to happen is we're going to cut and tenion on both sides of this thing uh, and bring it back and again this work is being done uh, really because of the insurance company all this debris was up against it so I couldn't really exactly see how bad the repair was when we came out and bid it um, but we're gonna ahead and take care of that for this customer so that's the bulk of the repairs here he's got a little bit of repair issue uh, on this side frame over here he's got the same thing over here uh, and we'll go ahead and knock that out for him so a couple complicated repairs just wanted you guys to, to kind of get a feel for it I'm Andy with Handy Andy you can find us at handyandyhome.com or 770-912-2829 we excel at all kinds of exterior carpentry, rotted wood repairs, uh, handyman work, a lot of siding work, a lot of roof repairs. I get so many customers that come to me and say, Andy, I've had eight guys look at my roof. They tell me I need a new roof. Well, of course they're telling you that you need a new roof because they want to make money. A lot of times, you know, we've looked at, I looked at a roof last week. That roof had at least eight, ten years uh, of life on the roof. And she had quotes from companies telling her that she had to change her roof out. Uh, it, it Really what she needed was a couple vent boots repaired. She was looking at about three, four hundred dollars in total repairs instead of an eight thousand dollar roof. It's insanity, but and it's always been that way. You know, people use a lot of scare tactics in this business. If you can find a reputable guy, we get people watching these videos from all over the country uh, for a variety of reasons. But if you can find people who are honest, you find people who have a fully decaled vehicle. They've got a commercial office. It doesn't mean that they're going to be the best, you know, contractors out there. But all you want to do is cut the odds. You don't want to deal with the guy that's running out of the back of his, his little Volkswagen Golf and he's a full-time contractor. You, you got to dress for the part, you know, and you really want to have that kind of stuff. So just be careful who you're dealing with. Uh, you're going to see more and more repairs like this one where a homeowner may not really have the funds budgeted to do this, but the insurance company is saying, look, either make the repairs with canceling your insurance. We've heard a lot of that this year in Atlanta. This, it started last year, really, but we're hearing more and more of it as insurance companies try to get out annually and inspect the property and cut their losses. You can catch us at 770-912-2829. We run all over Metro Atlanta and Athens. Uh, some people have emailed me from California and all over the country. Uh, we respond to those things as best we can. If there's something you want to see in terms of repairs, let us know because we pretty much do them all. Take care. We'll see you at the next house. Bye for now.